And yes, so the first card you have your past is the star. I'm seeing um, learning and I'm seeing understanding um, with this star. This is about um, this is about unraveling something, a complicated person, a difficult person. There's someone who's a big mystery to you, who's who you were trying to unravel at this time, finding out what was really going on behind their behaviour, what they were saying, or something like that. And I'm not seeing um, I'm not seeing empathy here. I'm not seeing that you were saying, "Oh, I understand why they did this thing. I feel really sorry for them," because actually the way they were behaving was very good. wasn't very good, I should say, but it was um, it was like you were seeing. I'm just seeing you looking back over times where. This person was trying to hide things and act in a certain way that wasn't very good toward you, and you were just realizing that um, you're just realizing realizing what was really going on. That's what I'm seeing, and you know I think you had this card in your last reading actually, the star, because I'm seeing this woman um, who's naked in this card, and I remember saying something about this. Um, that she has nothing to hide. And yes, you have nothing to hide, but this person um, had a lot to hide. And I think this was, was in your last reading, and this is in this reading too, the same person. This is probably this ex that was in your last reading. Um, yes, they have a lot to hide. They have a lot to hide. They'll probably never tell you um, the truth about a lot of things, but you're working it out for yourself anyway. You were very smart. You knew what was going on. And yes, I'm seeing that you didn't have to work all this out because I'm seeing that you have kind of moved on from this person, although they will kind of be around you for some reason, I am seeing. But yes, you're kind of working all of this out. You were thinking, well, yes, they were like this, and it's probably because they're this happened really. They said this, but actually this really happened. It's that kind of thing. So the next card you have your past is the world. So I'm seeing, um, yes, I'm seeing life cycles when I see this. Life cycles, life cycling around and good things coming out of bad. It's like one life cycle starts and then finishes. And um, I'm just seeing that you had, yeah, I'm seeing an ending. So there was ending, an ending to some to one cycle. It could be about um, an ending with a romantic partner. It could be this ex that's in the star. Um, but I am seeing an ending with some person there. But there was a beginning as well. There was an ending. And then there was a beginning that came out of this ending, if that makes sense. So it was like, in one area of your life, it ended, and you know I'm seeing that you lost someone. And when you, when you lost someone, you really felt as if it was the end of the world. Your world was over. Your world was ending. That kind of thing. But then there was someone else in your life who really kept your world going for you. I'm not seeing the second person was a romantic connection or anything like that. This was some sort of innocent connection. And it was like you had this new connection to live for. It was like, oh, now I have something to live for, that kind of thing. Because it was quite dramatic when this ended for you. It was like that, very, very down. And then, you know, you had this other thing in your life. And also this, this new person or this new connection you had in your life opened up a whole lot of new other connections for you. And so I'm seeing that, you know, I'm just seeing the words, it's not the end of the world when I see this world. It's not the end of the world. It wasn't the end of the world because you had this other thing. You had this other connection opening up new worlds for you. So I hope that makes sense. That's what I'm seeing. So a whole new world was kind of opening up for you after this, after it was kind of the end of the world for you, if that makes sense. So the last card you have, you passed, is the Page of Pentacles. I'm seeing caution. I'm seeing caution. I'm seeing that you could have been feeling um, unsure about someone. And I'm seeing someone, um, I'm just sensing someone being a bit dishonest, actually. I'm not seeing that this is about what they were saying, but I'm saying that this is a, I'm seeing this is about what they weren't saying. So it was like they were leaving out information, leaving out crucial information. But when they left this information out, it changed the whole meaning of what they were saying. So it was like they, they could say, well, I wasn't lying. The words I said were true, but actually, because they left out some words, it changed the whole meaning of what they were saying. So yes, they were lying. They were lying, but they would say, oh, no, I wasn't lying. It's, it's this kind of sneaky person. This is probably the same person in the star I'm seeing. This is probably this ex, and this is probably what you were trying to work out about this person. You were coming to realization about a lot of things. And yes, they were creating some kind of a puzzle for you with their words as well. 
they were leaving a kind of a, an ambiguous puzzle with what they were saying. So we say, well, what do they actually mean? What do you mean? And they say, oh, I didn't mean that. Well, what do you mean? Oh, well, maybe, you know, vague kind of, it was all kind of vague. And if someone's like that, they're being sneaky. If they don't come out and say, I mean this, you know, then they're all kind of sneaky. I mean, why not just come out and say what you feel, what you say, what you want to say? That's what I'm saying. But I'm Aries, what can I say? So, yes. I'm seeing you really, you're just not going to take a lot of notice of what they're saying anymore. And I am seeing that um, you do have to communicate with them for some reason. You can't kind of totally get rid of this person. <laughs> I'm saying get rid of because I'm seeing you'd like to get rid of them really, but you can't. So, but from now on, you're just not, not going to take a lot of notice of what they're saying anymore. And you're just going to say, oh, this person, whatever they say, I'm just not going to believe it anyway. So there's no point in even trying to work out what it is anymore because it's just all lies that's what i'm seeing that you're you know that you were seeing at this time that you were thinking at this time so the first card you have your present is the queen of wands yes i'm seeing action here taking action with this beautiful um, queen of wands and there's something here i'm seeing that you felt you felt a bit stressful about you wanted to go and do something about this thing you're a little bit stressed about you're procrastinating about whatever this was it could be that you need to actually ask someone something because i am see, seeing speaking up but this is difficult for you to do that that's what i'm seeing it could be a difficult question you might have to ask someone a bit someone something a bit awkward or something like that and you know maybe you're not sure how to approach someone or how they react to you or something like that um but I am seeing this card is like a message to you. This is to tell you to um, just get on. Just get on and do this. Just get on and ask this thing or do whatever this thing is. Um, yes, if this resonates, I'm just seeing um, approaching this person or doing whatever this is. It's going to make you feel a lot better. Even if they say no. If they say yes, obviously you're going to feel better. If they say no, yes, you'll feel better as well because you've done this. Either way, you have done this. You've asked this question. You know the answer either way. And if they say no, then you can move on and do whatever it is you need to do. But you can't do this until you've asked this question. So this is saying, this this is saying, do this. And it's also saying that I'm seeing this um, sunflower that she's holding. So this is optimism here as well. So it's optimism. So it could be that they're going to say yes, or it also could be that. It's better to do this once you've done it, you'll feel better anyway. It's that kind of thing. The next card you have your present is the Hermit. So yes, I'm seeing this quite literally, actually. I don't mean I'm seeing it literally by, um, you're not walking around in a grey, um, a brown hood like him with a big beard. I'm not, I don't mean that. What I'm seeing is that you are by yourself. And I am seeing that you're forced to be by yourself. So I'm seeing that probably this is about this ex, somebody came and left you, and then you're by yourself. You're by yourself with a responsibility, and you couldn't do anything about this. You're forced to be by yourself. You're forced into this position. But because you're by yourself and you're forced into this, you made the best of what you had. And you followed along, you looked at this lantern, and you just walked along on your own and followed your own path. And this was not an easy path. And you're still on this path. This is in your present. You're still on this path. But as you went through, when you went down this path, you gained a lot of strength. You gained a lot of knowledge. And being on your own helped you to do this. It made you very, very, very strong. And yes, you didn't mean it for, for it to be this way. I keep on seeing this. You didn't mean to be on this path by yourself, but you were. The other thing I'm seeing is that, yes, it's been a difficult path. Definitely, I'm seeing that. That's very, very hard. Look how he's looking down. He's, he has a walking stick. He's not just walking by himself. He has a walking stick to help him. It's not easy going down this path. But I'm also seeing that if you look at the angle of this hermit, we're looking up to him. So we're down lower than him, looking up to him. So what I'm seeing here is that someone is looking up to you at this time. Someone's looking up to you. So you, you have to be a good example to someone. So you're on this path and you couldn't kind of break down and run away and scream and be silly. You had to be sensible. You had to go on this path. You had to be strong, not just for you, but for someone else. That's what I'm seeing in that card. The last card you have here present is the Ace of Pentacles. 
So yes, I'm so glad you have this card. I love this card. So yes, you have the stability around you and um, this stability is what you've given to yourself because you've been on this path. There was a time when um, you wanted someone else to give you the stability. It was like you wanted to say, someone, someone come and marry me and take care of me or do whatever or, or you know, look after me and all. But no, what happened was you gave this to yourself. That is the best kind of stability you can have if you give it to yourself and if you learn it yourself. If someone comes and gives it to you, they can take it away tomorrow. I'm sorry, but they can. If you learn this yourself, if you give this to yourself, it can never ever be taken away from you. It comes from inside of you. That's what I'm seeing. And yes, you're still on this process. You're still going down this path. You're still getting stronger and stronger as you go down this path. And you're getting more and more stability inside yourself. And yes, like the hermit, you have your lantern, you're following the right path. And this is the right path because it's your path. This is your path. This is the right path. That's what I'm seeing. The first card you have is the nine of cups. So yes, contentment. You do have contentment ahead of you. You have, you're already finding this. You're already on your way to finding this contentment. This is on the path you're on. And you're finding this within yourself, not from other people, within yourself. This is a process, you're still going to be going through this process at this time. But for some people again, I'm seeing that you will find love. You'll definitely find love in your future. You'll find contentment and fulfillment in love as well. But the best time for you to do this is when you finish this process. So you're going to totally, um, you're going to be at one with yourself. You're going to find the stability in yourself. You'll totally reach that point where you'll be 100% stable and sure of yourself and that's when you'll come and find someone else that's what i'm seeing and that will be the right time to find someone else because you won't be looking to fill a gap you won't be looking to fill a hole in yourself you won't have one so this person's going to come and compliment you that's what i'm seeing now i'm also seeing with this card that you're still going to have some contact with this ex this could be the person in the star i keep on seeing this you will get to the point where you you'll go through this process you'll be at the point where they won't bother you anymore once you get to this point and you know it'll be like um it'll be like a fly going past you it'll be like they'll call you and they'll say something to annoy you and it won't annoy you it'll be just like oh yes a fly went past okay i'll just shoo it away it'll be like that that's how you'll feel about this person it won't be any more than that Yes, again, I'm sorry about that noise that's going on. I'm trying my best. Um, the next card you have in future is the chariot. Yes. Look at this. You're going to be the driver. You are your own driver. You are going on your own path yourself. And you'll get there. You'll definitely get there. You'll get to this place that you want to go to. Definitely by yourself. And you won't care what this person's saying or doing. You won't care about your acts. You won't care about anyone else. You're just going to go on your right path you're just going to go ahead i am seeing that on this path there are going to be some some emotional ups and downs but i'm seeing that with you with gemini you do have a lot of mixed emotions going on all the time you do have this roller coaster you're going to ride that you have ups downs ups downs and yes it's going to be a bumpy path it's not going to be easy and i'm also seeing that on that path you're going to have probably you're going to have someone who thinks they know it all. This is probably a family member I'm seeing. A family member. And they say they see they're experienced in something that you're going to be doing at this time. They have experience in something. They've done it before. And they think they've done it all before, this person. Now, this person might come at you right at the time when you have these really difficult emotions that you're going through. So just recognize you're going to have these ups. You're going to have these downs. This is what happens. This will pass. It always does. Just think that when you're going through it. Don't let this person bother you. Don't be bothered by what they're saying. Don't start arguing. Don't start getting upset. If they say, if they start telling you what to do, just say, okay, and just let it go. Whatever. Okay. They're always going to be doing this. There's always going to be someone doing this. And they're always going to come along when you're at your worst emotionally. It sets you off. Try not to let them. That's what I'm seeing. But yes, this road on the chariot, it's not going to be easy. There are going to be some bumps in the road. But you're getting there. You're down. You're going down the right road. That's what I'm seeing. The last card you have for your future is the Three of Pentacles. So yes, this is about this question. 
that you wanted to ask someone because I'm looking at this card and I'm seeing this is like um, an architect in the church and these are like um, this architect or someone who's painting a portrait or someone like that who wants to do something in the church and he's talking to these two people and he's saying here's my proposal do you want to do this are you going to commission me to do this are you going to pay me can you do this and they're kind of standing down thinking, mm, what will we do? Uh, the ball's in our court. We have to say yes or no to this person. That's what I'm seeing there. So, yes, that's the position you're in. You're going to have to talk to this person. And this is another card telling you to just go ahead and do that. Ask this person this question. Talk to them or whatever this is. Um, it might not be that they say yes. They might say no. But yes, at least you've done it. You've done it you should be proud of yourself when you've spoken to this person and also it's over and done with and you can move on from it whatever happens that's what i'm seeing but don't be afraid don't be afraid to ask don't be afraid to ask this person 